Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of MCool123 News. Obviously, as you see, this is not my computer. This is markers and paper. Um, my computer, I woke up this morning and my computer like wasn't cooperating and I couldn't open up my recording software. So I'm just using my camera and I just, I wrote out what it would have been. But, uh, you know, we'll, you'll see as we go on. But, so, welcome to... I'm cool into three news. So yeah, I tried to keep it the same thing like what the intro usually is. They're usually music playing, but obviously my computer can't do that. Um, this is episode seven, and again, I just tried to keep it the same thing. If you go look at previous episodes, this is what the front usually looks like. Except this is red and this is black. I switched them. Whoopsies. And actually, also that's not there. But let's just hop right into our first story of today. Trump 2024. So, Donald Trump, our president, current incumbent president, is thinking about running for re-election in 2024 because obviously President-elect Joe Biden is now President-elect Joe Biden and he won the election. So, Donald Trump wants to campaign again. He said that he wants to campaign on Joe Biden's inauguration day so that he can have enough campaign money and he could hopefully win a second term. So, since again, I don't have my computer, I drew what I thought the campaign sign would look like. It says Trump 2024, and then it says Keep America Great. I thought it was again, but then I was like, yeah, that's Make America Great again. It was weird, but so, that's what it is. Keep America Great. So, we'll see what happens. I If you look up uh, Trump 2020, um, Sign, this is what you'll see, but instead that'll say 2020, and that'll say Make America Great Again. But I think I did pretty well. Uh, towards the end, uh, I got a little sloppy. Oh, also, by the way, we have six stories today. Plus, I know there's events that happened yesterday with Rudy Giuliani and the East family and Bryce Hall. But we're going to cover that in next week's episode. So make sure you come back and watch next week's episode because we're going to all we're going to go through that. So, next up, the COVID-19 vaccine. That says no more COVID exclamation point, but that should say, and let me change it, no more coronavirus question mark. Because apparently there is a vaccine developing from Pfizer, um, and we will see how that goes. So, you know, maybe we might have a vaccine, maybe not. Well, actually, it, we definitely will have a vaccine. It's just, it depends on when um, we'll get that vaccine. The vaccine could come next week. The vaccine could come in six months. We have no estimation on when the vaccine is coming, but the thing that we can do most is to stay safe, wash our hands, wear our masks. That's what we can do to help stop the spread of the coronavirus. All right, ready? This topic of discussion number three. This is a funny one. Rudy Giuliani passed gas. Also, he tested positive for corona, but we're going to talk about that next week in next week's episode, which is the 14th at 6 p.m. We're going to make it earlier. Thought you should not. Um, but yes, he passed gas in a Michigan hearing regarding voter fraud. Um, and then you see there's Rudy Giuliani, not drawn to scale. I'll just put that smiley face. That's not true. actually him. And then that's a fart that came out. But, you know, I don't want to be graphic because, hey, this is YouTube. But so he did pass gas and people were making fun of it. And so I don't know if that had something to do with his coronavirus uh, diagnosis. But we're going to talk a little bit more about that next week and how he's hospitalized and all that. But we'll go over that next week. All right. Next up, we have topic of discussion number four, which is, hold on, hold on. That is about MatPat's charity stream. MatPat, um, MatPat last year has streamed, um, where he raised money for St. Jude's. 
He won, I meant not won, he earned $1,300,000, which was insane. And then just for this live stream that occurred on December 1st, 2020, he raised over $3 million. So he quadrupled, no, he tripled actually, which is still really good. He quadrupled the number of earnings from last year. Uh, you can still donate, there's 24 days left, so, unless if you're watching this past, like, January or something. Um, but you can still donate using the link in my description down below, so you can donate. I donated, it was a great cause. Uh, there were some big, big, big stars right there. They had Mario Flyer, Mr. Beast, Z H City. They played some games, Colleen Ballinger was there, the Try Guys. Like, it was all very, very fun. Everyone participated. It was great. There were laughs. Uh, even the CEO of YouTube was there. Susan Y something. Susan W. Um, so it was a great event for everybody. So again, if you haven't donated and you would like to, use the link in my description down below to support MadPat. Again, they've raised over $3 million, which doubled what they did in the previous live stream last year. Which is actually really, really phenomenal. So, yes. By the way, I tried right here. This is supposed to be the, uh, the, uh, game series logo. Hold on. Yeah, see right here? But, uh, it didn't go very well. Because, like, if you look up the game theory logo, and then put it side by side with what I did, let me know how well you think I did. Because I don't think I did the best. That's supposed to be, like, the champion cup that he has. Uh, I know this is, uh, this red circle isn't supposed to be there. I don't know, it wasn't the best. But, I tried, I will say that. I did give it my best. I gave it my all. And that's all we could do, right? I tried, I did try. Kind of. We'll just, yeah, you know, fine. So, but there you go. But again, shout out to Mappa and to everyone that participated and donated to the stream. Great stream again, three million dollars like three million, not just like oh, three thousand that's great, which it is, or three hundred thousand, three million like that's insane. And again, great job, Matt Pat. Oh, wait, did I tell you where this money is going? Maybe not. This money is going to St. Jude's Child Research Hospital, which that's also a fantastic cause. So I'm glad people donated three million dollars to St. Jude's Research Hospital because. It's a fabulous cause, and it's for children, so, you know, it's just great. Alright, moving on to topic of discussion number five of six. I don't know if you remember, but yeah, there are six topics. So, let's get ready. Topic number five is... Hold on, gotta make this neat. Hold on. Neat. Alright, so, again, topic of it. Okay, here we go. So, the unboxing series held off to 2021. As you know, I have an unboxing series. It says we're going to start 2021 off right. As you know, I had a boxing series. I boxed, unboxed, sorry, Mr. Beast merch that got a ton amount of views. You all seem to love it. I loved purchasing those items and then being able to open it in front of you. So, with that being said, <clears throat> excuse me, we are going to hold off on that till the 2021. We're going to start January 1st, 2021. We are actually going to start the new year off right as soon as New Year's hits, probably like five minutes after or so. I am going to upload the unboxing video. And you'll be able to see it, the first, one of the first videos of 2021. Or yeah, maybe we will make a, maybe we will make it at midnight. Well, maybe we'll make it, like, New Year's Day, the first video of 2021. So, but again, make sure you watch it. I think the first thing I'm going to unbox is FaZe Clan merch. So, make sure that you are there to watch that. So, that's what we're going to do. We're going to start 2021 off right. And we can get away from 2020. That was not a good year. And we're going to start 2021 off correctly. All right, so now moving on to our final topic of discussion for today. That is regarding the recent news that occurred. 
we have Logan Paul versus Floyd Mayweather Jr. That event is happening. Oh, I didn't include the date. Okay. So, it's been highly anticipated, highly suspected, but it is going to be happening February. I think I spelled that wrong, but I don't really care. February 20th. And you can look in the description down below where I posted a link to the information on how to get it. It's about $25 for a ticket. And again, it is Logan Paul versus Floyd Mayweather. And yeah, so that'll be really exciting. And that is going to close out today's MCOOL123 news video. Thank you for sticking around with this weird format. I know I have like a full packet. Like this is what I used. Like literally all of this. And then I condensed it together. Hold on, I'll show you. It is just like this gigantic packet. So, but again, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, hit that subscribe button down below. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next MCO 123 News video. Don't forget to tune in Monday. We're going to talk about the positive cases of Rudy Giuliani. Uh, the positive COVID cases, by the way. Um, we're going to then talk about the Ace Family and Bryce Hall and all of that boxing stuff. And then all the other news that occurs during the week. So, again, thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you all next week. Good night.